Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Maurice back again with another video. I know it's been a minute. I had a family emergency, but now your boy is back. But today, <laughs> I wanted to talk about this new scenario pack that was announced, I think a few days ago now. Yeah, it's a, oh, yesterday actually. Um, for Mojo Mania, <laughs> I did not expect this from the x-men cycle uh so far the x-men cycle is looking promising man we got some solid heroes that's coming from it we get to fight some of the more well-known x-men villains in the mutant genesis box and now <laughs> we got this scenario pack of ridiculousness with mojo i don't know how popular he is because i know if, if you've played some of the games that featured some X-Men probably over the past 15 years, you may recognize a few of the faces that's in this pack. I know Mojo was a part of the X-Men. I think it was the uh, X-Men Next Generation show. Um, he had an episode. Um, he's been featured in a, in a few shows here and there. I, I do recognize this, this crazy villain, but um, I didn't expect this for for a scenario pack but i think that this is a good um th this is a good route that fantasy flight is taking with marvel champions for one i think they've hit this stride of confidence with being able to bring in whoever they want and to make it work and i reviewed this page not too long ago so j just to make sure that <laughs> i'm not talking about a bunch of nonsense as i talk to y'all about it but i think that this is a an amazing direction that they're going with x-men He's not a well-known uh, villain, but, I mean, he was in, I think, Ultimate uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, and also the uh, Ultimate Mar uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance as well. So, like, he's he's had some face time, so some people will recognize him. Well, man, every time I look at him, I think about that, <laughs> that villain in Blade when he had the light shining and it was... Ah! <laughs> but anyways I'll, I'll go ahead and hop into it and stop we'll stop wasting y'all time but you know it, it's, it's kind of cool to see some of the villains that they don't get a lot of shine even though they're recognizable so like spiral here if you play marvel versus capcom 2 she was a very popular character in that game in the competitive scene with marvel versus capcom 2 so it's cool for her to kind of get some shine and she kind of plays kind of a like an anti-hero in this uh, scenario pack. So in this scenario pack, it comes with three scenarios in it for the price of, uh, yeah, it's 20, 22 bucks, which is not bad. Uh, if you compare it to the price value of what you normally get with um, a big box expansion, and it's going to have several modular sets with it. So this is going to be a beefy scenario pack, but I'll go ahead and dive into the three different um scenarios that that's going to be involved in this so the first one is magog and this one is a super cool idea uh this definitely could have been something in a big box expansion so with this cat um you're, you're kind of in a coliseum fighting him i'm not going to dive too deep into the different cards i'll leave that up to you all to to read them to get more specifics i'll just kind of go overall what's happening within these uh scenarios but with this one um you're essentially trying to win over the favor of the crowd so beating him doesn't necessarily win you the scenario you have to gain some favor uh for yourself so they they have like the champion and the challengers card so for him uh you you both start off with a booing crowd so to speak and you have to gain some favor so if he hits you and do a certain amount of damage or whatever happens with within the scenario he starts to gain some favor uh, so if he if he gets you can see there's five per person ratings. So if he gets, you know, that threshold, then it switches over to I don't know if they have the uh, cheering side. Let's see. OK, so I see that they got at least the cheering part for um, the challengers. Oh, yeah, here we go. So he'll he'll have the cheering crowd. So if he gets at least 10 per person ratings on this one, then he wins the game. But if you get 10 per person uh, rating counters, then you win the game. So it's, it's more of just trying to see who can entertain the crowd the most. Then you, you get those favors just by fighting them. And I think that that's a, that's a cool way of having this, um, him almost having infinite help. <laughs> because as you can see here, 
uh, with the force interrupt when Magog would be defeated, reset his hit points to 10 per people. Uh, instead, place three per uh, person rating counters on the challengers and deal each player a face down encounter card. So there is kind of a, a, a give and take here where you're getting those favors, but you're also getting more encounters that's happening. And I think that this is a pretty cool idea of having kind of a, a Coliseum feeling within this LCG environment. I'm looking forward to this one. This actually may be the one I'm uh, the most <laughs> the most pumped up for. I think that's going to be such a, a cool scenario. And I think it'll be nice um, even if you, you're playing with somebody that's new to the game, getting them accustomed to the uh, to the interactions of the game and then have them playing that, which is a totally different experience. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> and then we have Spiral. So hers is pretty cool. You know, she's jumping in and out of the different, uh, essentially, TV shows, which are like alternate universes to an extent that Mojo is making. She's just running from you. And you can see here she have her escaped and cornered uh, side. So if she's escaped, you know, she can't take damage or be stunned. But whenever you find her, um, then you're then you're able to fight her up until she teleports again. As you can see here on her cornered side, if there are at least three per person teleport counters here, remove all of them and flip her. So she'll go right back to the escape side. So it's kind of a cat and mouse game with her. Um, she'll be jumping in between these different shows and there will be like a show deck uh, that you will be searching through trying to uh, figure out where she's at. Let me see, I think it's this one. Yeah, so with this side scheme, you see it's a permanent three per person uh force response after the last threat is removed from here the player who removed that threat reveals the top card of the show deck and place another six threat there so if you uh pull the card that shows where she's at then you can go ahead and fight her and i think yeah here it is so this is the the card that you're looking for so um this allows you to flip her to her cornered side and then you know you just try to well on her until, until you end up beating her so this is going to be kind of a cool a cool game of going through trying to figure out where she's at and then uh beat her before she end up leaving if she leaves and you got to search for her again uh because of, at least with the story around this you're just you need her help to get to mojo so that's why you're having to fight her and then here go the final act this cat here so we got Mojo. So for him, he reminds me uh, kind of like um, the hood where he have these set aside modular sets. And then a lot of the game revolves around his uh, spinning and stop the cards. So we got the Wheel of Gen uh, Genres here. So it'll start off spinning. So whenever, well, I'll go ahead and read it. Um, so this will be an environment that's in, in play all the time. So after the encounter deck resets, if there are no set aside modular encounter sets remaining, then the players lose. Otherwise, flip this card. So whenever it flips, uh, now it's at stopped. So once you go through the encounter deck once, it'll flip over to, to the stop side, assuming that there are still some set aside modular sets. So then it's at the start of step three of the villain phase, which is where you deal the encounter cards, randomly choose one set aside modular set and reveal its show environment. Shuffle the rest of that modular set and place it on the top of the encounter deck. Deal the first player two face down encounter cards and flip this card. So instead of, you know, each person getting one, uh, dang, I wonder if that means that this person gets two on top of the one that they would already get. That would be wild. Ooh, that'd be nasty. I didn't think about that. That, <laughs> that might be something else, but... Uh, I'd imagine that's that's probably the way that it is. That's okay. <laughs> they ain't pulling punches with it. So with well, what I like about the different environment cards for him, uh, if you played Eon's End, this reminds me of uh, the Crooked Mask from the original Eon's End game, uh, where you you will get these these cards from the villain deck, and it both hurt and help you. Where it'll be like Grave Hole takes three damage. But you get to draw a card or something like that. There's some trade-offs. So with this one, you can see here, dial M for Mojo. Um, each friendly character gets plus one thwart, which is super helpful. Uh, when revealed, discard each other setting environment in play. In this, in this card, 
if this card was revealed from the encounter deck, it gains surge. So this, you, you know, you see here, and in, in, in with this one, each player gets plus one hand size. Discard each setting environment in play. If this card was revealed from the encounter deck, it gains surge and then have the uh, plus boost icon. So uh, this is kind of cool to have those trade-offs. You know, it's similar to, I think Mysterio had a few of those in his deck as well. But um, this is the last part of it that I think is super cool. Um, you, you can kind of tell that the difficulty is ramping up in this game. So this is a nice way to kind of balance it. So he'll, so long shot, you know, if you're not familiar with the X-Men, look him up. He's a, he's a cool character. But, uh, as you can see here, he's a, a basic ally, uh, two thwart, two attack, one, uh, one consequential. Mine is fried. <laughs> and then three hit points, X-Men. Uh, whenever he attacks, he gains piercing. Long shot does not count against your ally limit, which is phenomenal. When revealed, put long shot into play under your control. This card gains surge. This effect cannot be canceled. That is super cool. So what happens is if you decide to add him to the encounter deck, um, whenever he's revealed as a encounter card, he comes over to your side. And whenever he... Uh, you know, loses all of his life. He goes right back into the discard pile of the encounter deck, and then he just keeps going from there. So I think that this is a pretty cool. Uh, this is a pretty cool way to offset some of the uh, man, some some of the difficulty that's in the game. And I think that it, we may see this more in the future, right? Where there may be some of these encounter sets or these villains that are just so tough to deal with. Looking at Ronan, and I think that this would be a way to kind of offset it because this would be phenomenal against Ronan because he has Pearson. Ronan is so quick to get those toughs, right? So that'll knock off those toughs and deal two damage to him. And you can do it a few times, or you can kind of alternate between the, the thwarting and the attacking, or he can just be a chump blocker for you. And with him being an X Men, this helps out, uh, what's his name? Uh, Cyclops, which makes me happy, man. He can only get better from here. <laughs> So this will be super cool to uh, to be able to play with. But yeah, this is pretty much the overview of the different sets that's here. We have Mojo, we have Spiral, we have Magog. So I think that this is this is amazing to see Marvel Champions continue to hit this creative stride and to have the confidence to use somebody that's not well known in the Marvel Universe, at least to the public eye, you know, that... And, and can make something that's extremely creative. I won't say it's something that hasn't been done, at least with Mojo's set. His is is something we have seen before to an extent. But with Spiral, this is a, hers is definitely unique. As well as Magog, where you're trying to gain that favor, right? So I think that this is a super creative um, scenario pack. And I think that they are just doing a phenomenal job this year i know that i wasn't at gen con but i heard that wolverine was was revealed so that was to be expected <laughs> so whenever they drop info on his um on, on his information i'm looking forward to being able to do a video on that as well as whoever else will be announced throughout the rest of the year um they are continuing with just putting out quality content there hasn't been anything that i've seen thus far that i that I've hated from this year um, compared to other years. But I think that, man, they just hit such an amazing stride. Something as goofy and ridiculous as Mojo Mania being able to work. You know, as you can see here, we have Spider-Ham. This can definitely open up the door for something like Deadpool to come in um, extremely soon. He's somebody that's affiliated with the X-Men to, to an extent. And I think that... He would be a cool way to end the year or start off next year uh, if they decide to do kind of an X-Force uh, cycle or whatever that looks like or just have them continue to be a part of X-Men. But uh, drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this, this scenario pack so far. Um, I know I didn't go completely through everything, but just kind of giving an, over, an overview of what's happening with this encounter set. We have some super cool cards, some super cool villains. Long shot, which helps with 
you know, he'll probably be in everybody's game at this point. You might as well just add him to the standard or expert <laughs> uh, set at this point. I think that he's just going to have an immediate impact on this game as soon as people play with him. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Mojo as a as a character. What you think about this scenario pack. Um, thank you once again for checking out the video. And I hope that y'all have a wonderful day.